Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Welcome back to the farm. Today we don't really have something that's literally farm related, um, but if you live out in the country and you have a well, there's a good chance that you have what I've got, which is a, uh, a filter for the, uh, for the well water. And this is the tool that you'd normally use to change that filter. Right here you can see this is our filter assemblies. Um, we've got two filters. One of them is, is the filter, the other is a UV light. The filter gets all the sediment out, um, some of the real you know small particle stuff. And then we have the UV light because whenever we bought this place, the well water tested to have a little bit of bacteria in it that we needed to get rid of. So this UV light took care of it. Um, but my problem was, is I've changed the filter and the last time I changed it, maybe I got it too tight. I'm not really sure what the deal is. Um, but this thing is the tool you're supposed to use to take it off. You can see right here, this thing is deforming. It's not moving it any, and, and it's not going to work. So um, try to think about how to get this plastic piece off without actually, you know, breaking it. And the only thing I could come up with is to make another tool like this. Um, so we're actually going to do that real quick, or it's going to be real quick for you, for me. It's going to take a while because I got to wait for this glue to set up. But um, what I'm going to use is I've got a couple sheets of plywood here and I'm going to actually just glue two of them together. Uh, first thing I'm going to kind of trace what the, the outline of what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to try to make something that makes this part right here a little bigger so that it's a little more robust. And then I'm going to make a longer handle. And of course, being made out of two pieces of plywood put together, I think it's actually going to give me the leverage I need to get this thing off without actually breaking it. Cause I have tried to use this, uh, I tried, you know, a little bit of impact taking a, uh, a hammer and hitting against it as I'm going and it doesn't want to do it either. Uh, I'm just afraid I'm going to break this and I'm never gonna be able to use it again. So while I still got it, we'll use it for a template. All right. That doesn't look too bad. Um, so what we're going to do is I said, that we're going to make this thicker. We can't do anything about the center part. It has to be the same, um, but we can make the outside portion of it thicker because that doesn't really matter. The only, the only issue we may have is the distance between the back of the filter casing, I'll call it, and the wall itself that it's mounted on. So we got to make sure it's going to fit in that gap, but it's a pretty decent gap. I think we'll be fine if we make it about that big. So we're going to point this in a direction that will give us the longest handle we can use. And we'll just go ahead and trace this real quick. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and take this out to, we're going to go ahead and take it out about that far. And hopefully I only have to ever use this once. So if I got to use it more than once and I'm obviously doing something wrong. So there's our general outline. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and a thicker marker so you can see it. So there you go. Here is the difference between the two. It's quite a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out and then we're going to use it as a template for the other board. So they're both roughly cut out. We're going to take this top one. And we're actually going to drill some through holes in it um, because I'm going to use, I've got plenty of screws. Um, I'm going to use those as clamps. So we want it to only grab the bottom one. So what we're going to do is put three hole, through holes through the top. And then when we screw it down, it'll pull the bottom one to the top. At least that's, that's what I'm going for. All 
All right, so it's gonna go on just like that. And once it's all glued up, then we'll do the fine tuning. Sanding everything up, making sure that everything fits properly. Um, but in the meantime, we just have to wait for this to dry. One of my homemade rags ready. Instead of throwing any clothing away or anything like that, I always just cut it up into usable rags. Get one last thing done with it versus just throwing it in the garbage. And of course, I'm talking about clothing that uh, talking about clothing that that is no longer good for anything else. I, I will not throw away usable clothing. I'll give it away. Um, but if I if we've worn it out, especially me, and you look at this shirt for example, um, it's starting to get holes in it. The print's already all, mostly gone off of it. Um, when I get done with them, they they're thoroughly used. So needless to say. The last thing it can be used for is just a grease rag or something to wipe off our fingers when we need to. And since this one isn't really all that dirty, I'll probably even reuse this rag again. Just let it sit out like that to dry. Right, I think that'll get us. Just got to put some screws in it. And even these screws, these are, uh, when I'm done with this, I mean, the glue will hold it just fine. We just need something to hold it until the glue dries, which is, uh, which is all we're going to do. So as soon as the glue is dry on this, which I'll wait till tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pull these screws back out and use them again for some other project. Because they only have a temporary reason to stay in here. So let that sit, come back to it later. All right, so it's the next day. The glue is dried. I'm gonna leave the screws in there just for added strength, um, but I'm gonna take them out as soon as I'm done with it because it, it should be just fine. There's no reason why they need to stay in there. So um, I've got my Dremel tool. I've got, <clears throat> I've got some, uh, let's see, some chisels, uh, file, rasp. Um, what else I got in here? Uh, extra Dremel components, you know, Dremel bits and things like that. Um, but I'm going to go down there and hopefully this thing just works right off the bat and I don't have to do any modifications here, but most likely I do because I just roughly cut this out. I tried to err on the side of being able to remove more so that I could do what I needed to rather than, because you can't add to it once you've taken it away. So, um, but maybe I've got it close enough that it just works, but we'll see. So take this stuff down there, see what happens.
So there we go. We got it off of there. As you can see, this thing is filthy. Definitely needed to be changed. Um, I let it go for a little longer than it needed to because I just couldn't get it off of there. And I couldn't for the life of me think of how to get that off of there given that the tool itself is plastic and I'm like, okay, this thing's going to break. Um, what I was taking off was plastic and I'm like, you know, if, if I, you know, I thought about maybe using a ratchet strap or something to go around that, um, but I was afraid it was going to crack the plastic housing. Um, so I'm like, what do I do? So my go-to was wood because wood isn't going to really mangle it too much. Um, it's soft material once it's up against it. And um, so, and, and if I made it right, it would only put force on the, the, the parts that are going down that these engage with. So they wouldn't put too much force on it to, to crack that, that casing of it. Um, but I got it done. Just took making my own tool. It's kind of rough. Uh, I thought I was going to hone it in a little bit more, but I have no need to. It worked right off the bat, luckily. And, you know, this is, uh, I'm just going to hang it on the wall in there. Granted, I'm going to take all my screws out of it, but hang it on the wall in there. That way, if I ever do need to use it, I can. Uh, if you saw, I did use it to tighten it up, but I didn't want to. I wanted to use this, but I left it in the shop um, because it doesn't need to be that tight. It just needs to be making sure that the water is, is going through it properly and not leaking out. And, um, but this is, uh, this is proof that in the case that you can't figure out how to do something, um, step back, think about it for a second, figure out what else you can do, something that might make it work better, and uh, just, just go for it. I didn't use very many tools at all for this. It was a, a pencil, a drill, and a saw. You know, anybody could have done this with those things, and, and you could have used hand tools if you really, really wanted to. I just didn't feel like it, so. Anyway, hopefully you like this. Uh, if you got any comments, questions, leave them down in the comments. I like to read them, like to respond to them. Um, if you got anything you want me to do for a future video, let me know that too. I, uh, I've done a few like that. And uh, definitely like this video, subscribe to it. Hit that bell notification so in the future you get notifications of when I'm going to have a, or when I post a new video. And uh, until next time, y'all take care.